This is what Andrew Tate said about the LGBT. In most Islamic countries, there are gay people, and I guarantee that they have gay relationships, and nobody cares as long as they're not trying to inflict on the children. It's illegal to walk down the street and do indecent things in front of children. But I guarantee if you were gay in a lot of these countries, privately. no, privately, nobody would care because they're trying to preserve the family unit. And to a degree, you have to always protect innocence. When you were talked about extremism, I would be friends with a gay person. Yes, I'm a Muslim, but I would be friends with a gay person because if a full grown man decides to make a decision, it's his decision to make. But I must protect innocence as a man, so I must protect children. If two, men, if two full grown men decide to have a fight, let them fight. If a full grown man decides to pick on a kid, that's unacceptable. So I must protect innocence. Mm -hmm. So I agree with the extremism point, but I have no problem with full-grown men doing what they want to do. Maybe some Islamic scholar is going to watch this and get mad at me. I don't have a problem being gay, with gay people and being friends with a gay person. I don't care. My problem is when you take a person who is unarmed, who is innocent, who is programmable like a child, and start inflicting your worldview on them. That mm -hmm. is disgusting and it's immoral. That is unfair and it can't be accepted on any level. And that's the reason homosexuality is genuinely outlawed in these countries. Not because they fear what two full-grown men are going to do. They fear what's happened in the West. So two full-grown men are going to purport on the minds of children which aren't theirs. That's what they're afraid of. The Western world has lost its value, tradition, by letting them speak and show their sexuality. The Western country are Christian majority, yet most of them allow the LGBT people to oppose their beliefs and stay quiet and support them. They are against the teaching of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Allah says in the Quran, and remember Lut, when he said to his people, Do not commit the worst sin, such as none preceding you has committed in the Al Amin, mankind and jinn. Homosexuals go against the disposition, fitra, which Allah has created in the mankind. The spread of homosexuality has caused many diseases which neither the East nor the West can deny exist because of them. Allah says in the Quran, Verily, you practice your lusts on men instead of women. Nay, but you are a people transgressing beyond bounds by committing great sins. Homosexuality caused the breakup of family and lead people to give up their work and study because they are preoccupied with their perversions. We as Muslims should not stay quiet. We have to defend our beliefs and values. Don't ever be a coward to the Western propaganda. Andrew Tate recently said this in the emergency meeting. I'll be sitting at the emergency meeting desk one of these days back in january back in february back in march staring at those walls and here we are we're not in jail and you know what regardless of how this plays out how the matrix attacks us or whatever god's plans are for us or what lessons he believes we need to learn if god decides i have to go back to the dungeon and wake up with cockroaches on my face and i respect god enough to go and do that honorably and i will pray to him just the same god decides allah is the best of planners but if he decides i have to go back to jail and i could choose one person to go jail with i would like to go to jail with you because you're an excellent jail mate and all believers should be able to believe in allah and believe allah is the only god allah is the most perfect of planners a few quote to remind us that allah is the greatest of planners allah says in the quran they plan and allah is the one who plans it is certain that allah is the greatest in the field of planning Allah has plans, a plan that is far more extensive than you could ever imagine. Stop worrying, stop stressing, and put faith in Him. Faith is believing in Allah no matter if you aren't sure of His plans. Also, Allah is the greatest in the field of planning. Sometimes what you think you want might not be what's best for you. Allah is the most perfect of planners, so trust His judgment, remain patient, and say Alhamdulillah. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum.